Okay, welcome back. So, Monday's job, rolling. I'm up at farm two, and uh, so this week, well, I don't think we're gonna do any drilling, and uh, unless the plan changes, but it's basically just preparations for drilling. Uh, right now, I'm just rolling this seed bed uh, prior to drilling, because we want to, well, these fields have got some black grass in them, and looking around, there's not much of the black grass that's actually germinated yet, so uh, I'm just rolling it as a as a kind of another light cultivation to well if I get out and show you. This is quite good here actually. Some of the ground that I've been rolling has been quite lumpy. And the black grass seeds are inside the lumps. So this has been cultivated with the Amazon Seas. And what I'm doing is rolling it just to break up the lumps. Sort of like lumps like this, where there could be black grass seeds inside. We'll get them to grow. And then once we, and then once all the seeds are growing, Spray off round up and then drill straight into it with the Vadastad rapid. So it's very dry at the moment, and uh, we could we could do ideally do a bit of rain. But trouble is, normally when in the autumn when it starts raining, it doesn't stop. It's looking quite wet in the north this week, but down south it's quite dry. So this stubble here or this ground here was spring oats. You can see we have got a little bit of greenery out here. A few losses that have grown. Um, they had to spread the straw out on these fields, so any little grains that were in the straw have got sh shaken out and now are growing. But like I said, we'll spray that off with Roundup before we drill it. And then the plan for this week is well, rolling today. Um, probably going to go spraying tomorrow. I'm going to spray off some ground that I'm going to put some winter barley in on this farm, 70 hectares. Yeah, I'm going to spray that off, and then the plan is to start drilling a week today, but we'll see. It'll, that'll all depend on the weather forecast. If it suddenly look like, looks like it's going to turn wet next week, then we'll probably drill it end of the week. So yesterday we were spraying off, uh, what was it, spring oat stubble, which is going to go into wheat. Today, no we weren't spraying, well, we were rolling it. But today we are, I can't see my tram line, could really do with some auto steer on it. Um, today what I'm doing is spraying off uh, winter wheat stubble or winter wheat ground that's been cultivated with the Amazon and then at the weekend we are going to come down here and drill some winter barley so we will, all this greenery here some bits of it is actually no there's barely any black grass down here to be honest hence I didn't roll it where is the next tram line so it's, it's all that greenery you can see is basically, uh, I think that's a tram line, is uh, wheat volunteers, which is pretty minimal to be honest. There's not many, considering what the weather was like uh, when when I was combining down here, it was sort of cloudy and cloudy conditions, It uh, the combine did a good job. I'll show you on my way back to the yard what the what the field looks like after the New Holland combine was in it. But I'm gonna get out and show you. I don't know what I'm gonna show you, but part breaks on. Cracking view from up here, look. This is a nice place to be. The neighbours' fields are all still stubble, look. So yeah, um, this was harvested in August at some point probably about a month ago and then Simon came down here with the Amazon us. you can see we have a lot of flints on this ground Simon came down here and cultivated it this is sort of a uh, chalky flinty soil it's not the most fertile but it, it's very free draining and now yeah you can see all the wheat volunteers look we don't have trouble with black grass down on these fields because 
it's so easy to get all the seeds to to grow. We it, all the black grass seeds grow and then we spray them off. There's a little thistle there, look. And uh, yeah, so then at the weekend I'm going to come down here with the Valastab Rapid and drill some winter barley. So I expect you've probably all seen Ollie's uh, new sprayer or not, Ollie Agri Contract. This is pretty much the same sprayer apart from his one's a lot bigger. This is an RB26. The sprayer what he's bought is a RB55. So that's a that's got a 36 meter boom. This is 24 meter boom. So he's got an extra 12 meters. And this sprayer has got a 3,000 litre water tank. I cannot see where I'm supposed to be driving right now. I'm kind of just guessing. And his new sprayer has got a 5,000 litre tank. And he also has auto track as well, auto steer. I've just got auto, I've got auto shut off. That's the field, what we cut with the new Holland Combine, look. I was probably going along a little bit quick out there. I was trying to do sort of 4.8, 5K. But it was only running a 25 foot header, so to get the same output as our John Deere with a 30 foot header, you've got to go along a bit quicker. So I'm just washing out the sprayer, or putting some fresh water in it. I'm going to shut this door. Dad's moving a bit more wheat into a bin so that we've got room for the sprayer and the tractor and drill. Right, Wednesday morning and the combine's out. Um, Matt's out from Hunts with his hydrovane. They're going to do a winter check over. He's got the hydrovane giving it a good blow down. Get all the dust and stuff off of it. And then he's going to put some oil on all the shiny metal and stuff like that. Put it to bed. Right, so jobs for Wednesday. It's actually Wednesday afternoon now. I started off the day by uh, doing a bit of work on my tractor on the 6.2. Then, uh, yeah, I blew out the radiator and air filters, uh, cleaned the cab out, filled up with fuel, and that blew and gave it a once over with the grease gun. So, the tractor's already for drilling. And then, what I done was I brought the JCB up to Farm 2, which is where I am now. I brought the tractor up to tractor and trailer up to farm two, and now I'm putting some barley seed on the on the trailer. Uh, what is the variety of this? It is Surge, and it's a two row variety. We're not doing growing any six row this year. going to load the trailer up too much because on Monday when I was doing that rolling I let the tires down, back tires down to 10 psi so we'll put a bit on. Alright the seed is delivered to the fields. I put a sheet over some of it because there is a chance of a, a small chance of a shower tonight but it's unlikely we'll get anything and then I'll bring the JCB down in the morning. Right, so I've got the drill on now. We're gonna put some seed in. I've just greased the 3,000 grease nipples that are on it. And uh, I can't calibrate it, because I forgot to bring the control box. Uh, this is the first time this drill's been on the tractor, so on the new tractor, so I forgot to bring the control box, but I'll calibrate it in the morning. I'll put the seed in now, and then calibrate it in the morning before we go. Okay, we're on Thursday now, and as you can see, I've started drilling. It is Thursday the 23rd of September. I know I said earlier on in the video that 
we weren't going to start until next week, but um, the weather forecast isn't looking, for, looking very good for next week. So we thought we better get uh, better get some in the ground before the uh, before the rainy season comes, as it always seems to. We thought, as this ground down here doesn't suffer with black grass, this would be a good place to start. So in this block that we've got down here, we've got 70 hectares of ground. It was winter wheat, and now we're putting it into winter barley with the idea of uh, putting it into oilseed rape next, next summer, straight after we get the barley off. There's quite a lot of partridges down here, are probably not going to be very popular with the gamekeeper, especially as they're shooting on Saturday. I like to do the headland first with this drill, otherwise when you come to do the headland, the ground is too hard to get the get the seed in the ground sort of thing, you can't, the disc won't go in the ground. So we do the headland first, it also makes it easier to see where I've got a lift up and drop down the drill on the headland as well. I did a bit of videoing with this GoPro earlier, I attached it to the drill so you can have a look and see what that looks like. gonna get out and take a photograph of the sunset so I thought I might as well show you guys as well I'm almost done I've only got another half an hour and then I'm done for the day and then that will be 30 hectares done today if I get a good get an early start in the morning I should finish it tomorrow it's a dusty old job See the uh, new discs are wearing in, look. I don't think any have fallen off. I did have a quick look under there when I was filling up with seed. Have a dig around, see if we can find, check the seed depth. And there's a couple of seeds there, look. One there and there, sort of about 40 mil deep, something like that, 45 mil. But that's day one of awesome drilling done anyway. And as far as I know, nothing fell off. It's gone well, I've enjoyed it. I'm out of seed and I'm going home. And we will re resume in the morning. Is it? It's 20 past seven. There's no great rush right now because I've only got uh, another 35, 35, uh, 40 hectares to do down here, and then that's it for a while. Yeah, I've drilled 30.4 30 hectares today, which isn't bad for a four meter drill. I thought I'd stick some diesel in on the way past, and it's uh, one less job to do in the morning. Then. Right, Saturday afternoon. As you can see, I'm out in the Bateman. Uh, so I spent the whole of Friday drilling down here and this morning I, I spent down here as well drilling so, so it took me two and a half days to drill the 70 hectares of winter barley down here at farm two. Simon is up on the hill there just finishing off, he, well, he's just rolling the last bit of the last field so and then um, what I'm doing is I'm spraying on a pre-emergent uh, spray herbicide. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to answer the phone, so um, can't even remember what I was talking about now. But um, yeah, so basically, I'm down here spraying now, I'm spraying the ground. You probably, some of you are probably wondering why I'm down here spraying, even though there's no crop in the spray yet. But I'm actually spraying the soil. Uh, it's a pre-emergent herbicide, which is a residual spray. It sticks to the soil, 
and basically any weeds that try and grow, um, yeah, it kills them instantly, sort of thing, before they before they uh, start to grow properly. I just got the 70 hectares that I've drilled uh, to spray, and then we're going to have Sunday off, I think, because they're forecasting a wet week next week, um, and we have, nothing else is ready to drill yet anyway. We've got some winter barley to drill at farm one, but that ground hasn't been cultivated very long, um, so we're still waiting for sort of like the volunteers and the weeds to grow there, so then we can spray them off a roundup and then drill that with barley. There's about 80 hectares of barley to go in at farm one. If you're wondering how I know where to drive with the sprayer, even though I can't see the tram lines or the crop tram lines, uh, the drill leaves two pre emergent marks there, look. Uh, it just leaves two little grooves in the ground when I'm putting in a tram line so then I know where to drive with the sprayer before the crops come up. Alright, thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As you can see I'm just packing up for Saturday evening. Just putting stuff away. I've just washed out the sprayer. And I'm just going to park the tractor and drill in next. And spray out and then go home. Actually no I'm not. I'm going to go and get the JCB and take the JCB home.